Hi, welcome back. Today, we're going to learn how to add transparent backgrounds to images. In this example, we've created an amazing slide on Hawaiian monk seals. We have even found the perfect image on Google that will really make our presentation stand out. The only problem is, the image has a background that doesn't really work with the already existing background on the slide. You, like us, have probably already tried to crop it using the default tools, but you really wanted, was just the Hawaiian monk seal in the picture. Here's how you can do that in a couple of simple steps. Step 1, search for the image you want to use. Step 2, open a new tab. In the address bar, type pixel.com. That's spelled P I X L R dot C O M. Step 3 Scroll down the page and look for the box titled Pixel Editor. Click on the button to launch the web app. This is what the editor looks like when it has loaded. If you encounter this page, it means you need to give the web app permission to use Flash Player. Click on the blue Get Flash Player link. When asked if you want to leave the site, click on Leave. You should then see a prompt asking for permission to allow Pixel.com to run Flash. Click on Allow. You will then be asked to reload the page. Now the editor should be fully loaded. Step 4 Click on the button to open an image from URL. Step 5 Go back to the tab with the image you want to use. Then, right click your image to open the context menu. Choose the option to copy image address. Return to the Pixel tab, then paste the copied URL into the text box. Click OK. In a few seconds, the image will load into the editor. In order to remove the background, we must unlock the image's layers. Step 6 In the Layers panel, click on the lock icon to unlock the background. Now the image is ready to work with. Step 7 Select the Crop tool. Click and drag a box around the focus of your image. In this case, we dragged a box around the Hawaiian monk seal. Double click inside of the box to apply the cropping. We must now outline the image. You can make this process easier by holding the Alt key, then scrolling the mouse wheel to zoom in. If you do not have a mouse, you can manually zoom in by adjusting the zoom percentage in the bottom left corner of the image panel. Now that we are ready to outline, click on the lasso tool. Change the tool settings from freehand mode to polygonal mode. Step 8 Carefully outline by left clicking along the edge of the focus object. You can break up the outline into smaller sections. To complete an outline, double click at your final point. You will see an animated dashed line form around the outlined area. To remove this selection, Use the cut command by pressing Ctrl X. On Max, this can be done by pressing Command X. Repeat the outline process around the entire focus image. To create a feathered outline, you may want to adjust the feathering option of the lasso tool. The default setting is 1. Here, we have adjusted it to 10. Now we are ready to save the image and use it in our presentation. Step 9, click on File in the web app interface. Then select Save. Change the name of the file to something memorable. Finally, be sure to change the image format from JPEG to PNG. Click OK, then click on Save. Step 10, return to your Google Slides presentation. Then, in the menu bar, 
click on insert and choose the image option. Upload the image to the presentation by clicking on the upload tab, then clicking the blue choose an image to upload button. You've done it. You have successfully removed the background from an image. Now, you can resize the modified image to fit your presentation's needs. Before we sign off, here's a quick tip. Sometimes you might want to remove the background of an image that has one solid color. Instead of using the lasso tool, you can use the magic wand tool to quickly select and remove that color. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button to like it. If you would like more videos, click on the subscribe button. Until next time, see you later.